It's another adventure day. Scuba diving today. So we're wearing our BCs and then backpacks. And we're gonna scoot over to the dive center. Welcome, we're Kevin and Janine, a Canadian couple who have escaped the rat race and are continuing our dream of slow travel around the world. Subscribe and follow along this season as we cruise Southeast Asia aboard a McConaughey 55 catamaran. Snake. Holy. Where's the tongue? Right there. Let's see if this works. Okay, wait, 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 wait. It was wrapped around this little shell thing you got here. And then I was like, oh. Jesus. Um, can you get out of the way, please, so I can get in there? Maybe a towel? Maybe a towel. Oh, Kevin. Oh. Kevin? 
Is that a bite? Yeah, he's biting. Okay, go outside. Go, go throw him outside. Mm. Jesus. Go away. Does he swim? Swim towards us, yeah. But can he climb this? This is like really high. Jeepers. Go away, snake. Yeah, go to land. Let the wind take you. The snake bit the oven mitt. That means like there could be snakes anywhere. Creepy. Today's adventure, actually happened from two nights ago. Uh, our alarm went off on the back of the boat and in the middle of the night, so Kevin got up quick. And in the process of getting up quick, he kicked something. So his foot's been hurting. We don't know what's wrong with it. Maybe broken, hopefully not. But we're heading to the hospital. <laughs> I love it. Elon here is helping us out. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Going for a ride. <laughs> Doesn't look like there are any breaks. That, is that your old break? Yeah. How long did that take for you to get an x-ray and get the results put into your hands that you get to keep? I've never <laughs> been able to keep an x-ray before. Right? And to get in and get out that fast, so then you're not like bleeding out of the head or having a heart attack. Yeah. Being in the hospital is taking me all day, you know, like less than an hour. Oh, much less than an hour. <laughs> so we're all done. And that costs how much, Kevin? 50,000. 50, Rupiah. Rupiah. <laughs> Which is? So that's like, uh, call it five bucks. Five bucks. Canadian. To get an x-ray. Done in less than an hour. Less than five bucks. Yeah, le it's pretty sweet. Diesel run today. So I have food to show you. Yeah, I can. Would you like some water? <laughs> no, I'm good, thank you. So, what's the process so far, Kevin? What have we done? Yeah, uh, nothing. Nothing. Well, we went to the Harbor Master. And officially checked in. I guess they hadn't officially checked us in. Now we just went to quarantine. And uh, they're going to come on board with the boat to check. I don't know. They said they're going to check the bedroom, the kitchen, sanitation, or see what medicines we have on board. I don't know why that's relevant for them, but maybe it is. I don't know. But we're going to go for a diggy ride with them. Should be fun. And there goes Kevin with quarantine people. Because we are anchored all the way other side of the island, way over there. Now we're at immigration waiting for passports to get stamped. 
very festive looking in here. How was the quarantine process? They mostly wanted to check the medications, if the medica any medications were expired. And they looked at the, the pantry and the bedroom and the bathroom and the kitchen. And so I guess it's like a bit of a bureaucratic thing. You have to, it's on the list, you must check the medication. Because like the bedroom or bathroom, they're checking cupboards? Or no. No, they just wanted uh, to walk through and see it? Took a little video it? and see it, make sure it's a bedroom? sanitary. <laughs> yeah. That they you're not carrying any stowaway yeah. they just critters. Yeah, applying it to all boats. Yeah, you didn't tell them we had a snake yesterday, right? <laughs> snake? No, no, it didn't come up. No, I didn't ask. That's good. Yeah. Oh, we are doing it. Mm-hmm. So I don't have my stamp. So we don't have the boat stamp. So he's putting <laughs> official stamp thumbprint. Manual yeah. stamp. There you go. Hey, you stamp me. Well, that's so, it. I got your fingerprints. Doing a little provisioning before our trip to Langkawi. Well, that's the end of our day. We're going to head back to the boat, but there's been a squall. So the, it's quite choppy out there. May not be a fun dinghy ride. This is our last morning in Indonesia, for now anyway. Uh, we're heading off to Malaysia and we'll be going into Langkawi. It is uh, about 6.30 in the morning, so we're going to get started. that there is some wind out there. See the dark horizon. You gotta see what you're listening to here. exciting. The wind uh, kicked up, that system that was behind us caught us. I mean, it still stayed behind us, but we got gusting winds, 40 knots gusting. Uh, it was sustained like 33 to 35 for a while. Let's see, what time is it now? 10.15, so maybe the last hour we've had a lot of wind. So we furled our head sail, J0, we furled that right away as soon as the apparent wind started going above 15 consistently. And then the wind really picked up 
and we've set up, I'll have to show you later maybe, I went forward and we're preparing if we have to take a second reef, which I don't think we will, the wind's actually dying, but if we did, with the rig that we have, I've hooked up our halyard for the stay sail, which is the first one, because that one on the mast, it's actually uh, comes out of the mast lower than our other head sails. So what that does, it provides some support if we take a second reef where our mainsail is lower still, so the the pressure is more balanced. Because if you don't have that, you can actually snap your mast if you reef and you don't have anything supporting um, forward. So we're ready if we have to take a second reef. It actually feels really comfortable. It just looks a little spicy, that's all. Rain has arrived, so we've closed up the doors. By this point, we had taken a second reef and put out a bit of head sail to try and keep the nose down and stop us from turning up like you just saw us do. How are you doing, Captain Kevin? Glad to be through the squall. Yeah. Or the, the gale, I should say. The wind has come down. It's what, around 15 to 20 knots true now? Yeah. Yeah, plus gusts within the low 20s. Yeah. So it's about sustain more sustainable. Yeah. We it's shook out a reef. Kind of 46 knots shit. Yeah. No, that that was uh, unexpected. Yeah, we shook out a reef. J zero is out again. Moving along. Sea state has come down. Uh, quite a bit. <laughs> a bit. You just That's said, nice. Uh, rope. I know you took videos of the rope, but I said nothing about our uh, our system that we had going. You want to tell us about it? Oh. Uh, oh, like a drogue. So instead of like a drogue, is something that you tow behind you while you're going fast to slow you down. We have one of those, a proper drogue, but it's a it's a it's a lot to set up. So what we did, we, we used a, a big heavy kind of three strand uh, nylon line. That is our spare anchor line. And we hooked it to the big cleats on both sides of our stern and let it out. And basically what it does is it, it creates a big loop and it creates a lot of 
Drag. Friction, drag. Drag is the awesome the best word for it. Exactly. So it slows, it slows us down when we're like trying to accelerate down a wave, which could be dangerous if you find your bow into the next wave and the waves are big enough that it can flip you over. So the waves were starting to get pretty big. How fast were we surfing, Kevin? I saw a surf once and we showed it showed 17 knots. So pretty quick and the waves were still really short. But and building. Big. And I, when I say short, I mean short period, but not short waves. So the wavelength was short and uh, that meant they're really steep and you could potentially pitch full. So we, for safety, we threw out that line to slow down our surface. Yeah, I think it worked. Yeah. It added, I'm trying to pull it back in after, even after like it uh, slowed down. It's a lot of drag. Yeah. It's a lot of drag. Yeah. Good. Now that the weather has settled, we've uh, fallen into our shift schedule, so I'm on right now. Kevin's resting. And he'll be on later. This was an eventful day one of our passage. Goodbye, Sumatra. <laughs>